good afternoon. It is Sunday afternoon and I have decided I want to do a crafty DIY project utilizing jars that were once candles. So the project is going to revolve all around these bad boys here. These were very inexpensive candles that my husband likes to buy when he goes grocery shopping. They're kind of a no-name generic candle, but they are in these small little mason jars. And they smell great even though they're kind of a no-name brand, um, but that's kind of besides the point. So what I've done is I've saved eight of these jars and cleaned them out after they were finished burning, once, or once the candle was finished burning. I've cleaned them all out, all the excess wax and everything and they have a metal lid, which my husband has already gone and pre-drilled holes in the lids. Thank you, Jess. Um, and we are going to do a fun light project. Now, I'm kind of obsessed with mason jars in general um, of all sizes. In fact, my kitchen light fixture is made out of mason jars and I kind of like that, just that rustic feel. So let's get started. I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need for this project if you would like to attempt it on your own. And let's go. So this is our kitchen light fixture that I was speaking about earlier. It's made of larger size mason jars um, strung to a slab of old wood that I had taken, sanded down, and just gave a quick rough coat of white paint to give it, again, that rustic feel that I love. The first thing that you will need for this project are mason jars with metal lids. You're going to want to drill a hole in the top center of each lid. You can also use large mason jars for this project or a variety of small and large ones. And of course you're going to need a pair of scissors to cut the twine string. I've decided to use twine for this project as it has that rustic feel that I'm looking for. I suppose you could use any type of string, ribbon, or even wire to strand everything together. And then finally, you'll need a light source for this project. I've chosen these LED mini strand lights that I purchased at the Christmas tree shop last Christmas. They were very inexpensive, around $10 a strand. You could probably use any type of Christmas light or strand lights. You just wanna make sure that the actual wire the lights are on is thin enough to fit through the hole in the top of the jar that you've drilled out. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut various lengths of, lengths of this twine and I'm gonna thread it through the lid of each jar. So I'm just gonna thread it through and knot it a couple times so it stays. And you might have to knot it a few times because you don't want it to slide back through the pre-drilled hole. I'm just gonna cut various lengths of the string and I would definitely uh, overestimate the amount that way the string can only can always be um, trimmed down once you group these all together so there's one down and then I'm just gonna repeat this seven more times and another tip is as you're doing this and once you have a big enough knot so that the string doesn't pull through you might just want to trim the excess piece um, just trim it down a little bit so that it's not visible when the actual project is finished. So now we have the step two of the project already completed. I have knotted all of the twine string through each jar lid and we can get started on step three. So right now we're trying to figure out how to thread the lights through each jar without it being too unsightly. Plus, we have the battery pack for each um, set of lights. There's two sets of lights. So, um, we're just trying to figure out how to thread them through, and I've asked Jeff for his help because he's pretty smart when it comes to stuff like this. Sometimes I have zero common sense. <laughs> so basically, what you wanna do is you want to take the jar off one of the lids, or the lids off one of the jars, and Thread the light strand through all the way to the end, and then we're going to have to string them through each other jar lid. So it's a little bit um, tough, but we'll get through it. Okay. 
And then I'm also hoping that we have enough lights to go through eight of these containers. Like I said, I have two strands and they're pretty long, so Jeff says we're gonna have plenty. So we'll see. So we have one threaded through, we're working on the second one. I'm gonna stop the video here and um, we'll start back with the next step once this is done. So Jeff has taken over the project because he's very good with technical stuff like this. And we have four jars complete and we used one strand. So he spaced everything perfectly, which he's always good at stuff like this. So yeah, so we're gonna do the next four and then I'll start back with the next step. So here's the beginning of what this is starting to look like. And basically what it's gonna be is eight jars all clumped together with these LED lights. And it's gonna look really pretty at night. I was thinking of either hanging them on one of the doors. The only problem with that is that they might bang around a little bit once the door is opened and closed. Um, so again, I'll find a spot for these, but I think it's gonna look really pretty at night and I will show you the finished product later on in the video. And we're gonna finish the next four jars with the lights. So we are ready with the finished product. This is how it came out. Um, and I know I didn't really explain in the beginning of the video that we were doing I said a light project, but basically what we did was we took all the jars and buried them at different heights and strung the lights through into each jar and then hung them on a hook. They are hanging in my kitchen right now. So that concludes today's DIY project. Sorry I'm not bringing you guys any style today. My hair is looking crazy and it's nothing exciting. So thank you for watching. I hope you liked the project and I'll see you real soon.